All right then, so in the last tutorial, we had a look at character sets and I said that anything within a character set will match in that position. So for example, if we typed in all the letters of the alphabet inside this character set for the first position of the expression, then any letter in that first position will be a match. Does that make sense? Now, I also said that this was pretty long winded. We don't want to write out all 26 letters every time we'd like to match any letter of the alphabet. That's just long winded, it's prone to error and a bit annoying. So instead, fortunately, there's an easier way to do this. So we can delete all of these letters and we can use what's known as a range. So if we'd like to include all of the letters of the alphabet for this first position, then we can just say A to Z. And that is a range, A to Z, or it could be a to H and that would match all the letters from A to H okay so you can see A to Z still matches all of these because we're including all the letters of the alphabet but A to H just matches this one or A to N matches both of these two okay so that's how simple ranges are and it doesn't have to be from A by the way it could be from G to N or L to N and that would match all the letters between L and N Okay, cool. Now, what if we try to make this into a capital? First of all, let's go back to A to Z. So we're matching all letters in this first position. If we try to use a capital now, then these do not match. And remember, that's because we don't have the case insensitive flag on. So there's two ways to combat this. We could either put that insensitive flag on, and now we do get matches. Or if we don't want the whole regular expression to be case insensitive, but we just want this right here to be case insensitive. We can take that flag off and instead we can do A to Z in lowercase followed by A to Z in uppercase. Now that will match both of them. We've included two ranges here, the lowercase range and the uppercase range. So that is matching both of those inside this one character set. So we can use either uppercase or lowercase. Now they're both going to work. Oops, like so. All right then, now as well as letters, we can also do numbers. So let's delete these and we could do naught to nine. So that would be the same as writing out naught, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, but instead of writing all of that, we can just do a range zero to nine. And if we delete all these and say zero injure, I know <laughs> this makes no sense whatsoever, but bear with me, I'm just demonstrating the ranges here or six injure they both match. And again, we could do it from five to nine. And now this matches, but this one doesn't because we're not going from zero anymore, we're going from five, okay? So let's just take this one step further. Imagine we wanted to match a phone number. In the UK, that's 11 numbers. So zero to nine for each character, if you like, and that has to appear 11 times because we want 11 numbers in the whole expression. So what we'd have to do, since this is just matching one character right here, we'd have to copy that and paste it another 10 times. Now, I'm not going to count this out, but, you know, you get the point. If we wanted a phone number, it would look something like that, right? So I could do 015 or 0164 782 32. You know, I'm going to do this until it matches. There we go. Now we get a match because it's the same number of characters long. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I've done one too many, and there's 12 of these character sets right here. Okay, so now that's a match, but again, this is long-winded. Yeah, we've used a range to make this bit, this character set, shorter, but it's still long-winded. And if we want something repeating over and over like this, there is a much easier way to do that. And we're going to take a look at that in the very next tutorial.